I returned to the Western Nameless Mausoleum to fight the Black Jail Knight again. After 13 deaths, I arrived here at this moment in time. I'm recording this commentary uh, a couple days later because once again I just sort of put on a podcast and ground at this boss until I was done with him. So what I discovered was that magic seemed to work well against him. So after trying a lot of different weapons and uh, experiments, I ended up getting Moonveil, which is my big magic katana, and just started trying to spam him with that that big magic attack. And also, I put on a tals- talisman to improve my guard counters. So whenever I had a chance to do a guard counter, I would do that on him too. I expected him to heal there. There's... Uh, In my previous attempts, I could not figure out a way to interrupt him from doing that. The biggest problem I had with this fight was figuring out when it was safe to attack him. And I didn't really feel safe attacking him when he was running at me. And there are some times when I felt like it was safe to do a guard counter and other times when it wasn't safe. And I think what I worked out was when he does an overhead sort of a swing, it's safer to do the guard counter. But sometimes he does a, you know, wild sideways swings and then it wasn't safe to do it. But mainly it's, it's just a matter of backing up a lot and, and just waiting for opportunities. Ugh. Finally. <laughs> Jesus. The great sword of solitude. The helm of solitude. The armor of solitude. The gauntlets of solitude. The greaves of solitude. Holy crap, that guy was a pain. In the end, I discovered that magic seemed to be relatively effective, so I got out my moon veil and uh, I just kept doing the... (laughs) the strong attack to try to hit him from range. Uh, I put on a talisman to enhance my guard counters because I was able to do that periodically. Put on as much stamina as I could. Uh, I reallocated my flasks to have two refills of mana because that's how many it took to get through the whole fight by spamming (laughs) those those magic attacks. I tried Roger's Keen Rapier for a while, but it didn't really work that well. It kind of worked, but that's the one that showed me that magic was sort of effective against him. But man, that guy had so much poise. He just hit through everything. I, I tried tower shields. I tried all kinds of different weapons. I just... He just relentlessly pursued you and just hit you through everything and knocked me off, uh, staggered me constantly. I just had to be so careful with fighting him. Um, it took me, let's see, 53 minutes tonight. I don't know how many attempts it was tonight, but, uh, it had to be like 15 tries tonight, uh, to get that guy. Sheesh. What a pain. The Greaves of Solitude. Steel Greaves of the Knights of the Solitary Jail. Part of a heavy armor set that covers the whole body in overlapping plates of steel. 
Well, I guess that's why he had so much poise. The nameless mausoleums of the Realm of Shadow are said to hold the spirits of warriors who lost their names or their hearts. Yeesh, the Knights of the Solitary Jail. Um, I think I'm going to put on that helmet as a trophy. And the Great Sword of Solitude is a steel great sword wielded by the Knights of the Solitary Jail. Through a secret rite, they relinquished their hearts for heightened battle prowess. Next, they engraved their blades with two crests, one depicting the light of birth and the other, solitude. The unique skill is a solitary moon slash, which I hated so much. I finally, toward the end, I got the timing of how to dodge that. I felt like I had to hit the dodge key so early to get away from that. But anyway. Uh, it's done. It's finally done. And I forgot to show my status as of this boss fight. Just for the record. Okay, now that that bit of business with the Black Jail Knight at the Western Nameless Mausoleum is out of the way, let's continue in the Viaduct Minor Tower. In the place that used to have a name, but now it doesn't have a name. So I went back to fight that boss because I was looking for uh, I was looking for something to do while I was listening to a podcast, and I didn't really feel like doing commentary, so I just started grinding away on that boss. It took me, I think, I died 13 times before I finally defeated him. I think that is the exact number that I wrote down. Tonight, later tonight, that is, I might go back and see if I can, uh, go back and take on Ralana again. Oh, that looks like something I can climb up this tree. Yeah, I keep falling off. Okay, do I have to do it without torrent? Now that I'm up here, what have I gained? Feels like there should be an item here. I'm going to fall. I don't see any items. I'm falling. And I'm dead. <laughs> okay. So much for trying to find the cool explor exploration path. I was actually more interested in watching a movie tonight, but I ended up 
back in the game. Oh, do I have to climb up again to get my souls back? Ugh. I gotta get off a torrent and climb up again. Wait, this is the wrong place. This is a different... This is a different branch. <laughs> Where are my souls? I didn't see them on the ground. Oh my god, they're way up here. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. Well, that was an unintentional adventure. Let's get my whip back because it's pretty handy for the animals. So instead of watching a movie, I decided to explore a little bit further in Elden Ring. And I guess this is where we're going to explore. Unless there's something cool out here. Just a bunch of scenery. Hello, shadow people. Somebody's shooting at me. Oh, I see. They are strategically placed. supposed to be able to get up to that? Oh, damn. I didn't see you there. Oh, I'm grabbed and dying. And somebody is, um... Okay, okay. Wow. Okay, I don't like this. I'm dead. Yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should pay attention just a little bit when I'm playing this game. Just a tiny little bit. And maybe not press the wrong keys. Maybe move the keyboard to, so it's into a, a place where I can actually access it easily. A strange thing to do when playing a game, I know. Yeah, my, uh... I wasn't super interested in playing tonight. Which is why I was started to watch a movie. But then I realized I'm probably going to have to record like 50,000 videos 
to get through this game, so I should uh, really take every opportunity to make progress whenever I can. What? Oh, man. I hate him. The thing I especially hate about them is how it goes right through my shield. So I am going to take a moment and put on my bow that I took off for the boss fight. Great bow arrows. That's the guy that was shooting at me, right? No, that's the guy that's shooting at me. He didn't die with one shot. Just gonna lumber around heavy so I can use the great bow. So this looks like a door, but I doubt if I'll be able to open it. Oh, I was wrong. I should look around this way. <laughs> That's where the whip comes in handy. Sprite Stone. Looks like I might be able to jump down here. But it looks awfully far down. So I don't want to take that chance. I was like, what am I looking at here? Oh. 
Oh. Oh my. My word. Oh, that is a nice hit. Oh, that was one of the little ones. Ow! Got him. Should I put on some sort of poison resistance? Uh, is that immunity? I think so. A Shadow Realm Rune. I guess I can get back on my horse because this place is so big. people behind me. Oh, I wondered. I was looking at that spot where he was kneeling and thinking, that looks, that wall looks odd. I noticed that. There's nothing here, though. Oh, is this... Am I back near the... Near where... Uh, yeah, I think this is... This is where I jumped down and got that item. And there was a, a secret door out of there that I did not see before. Gotta check all the walls. that guy put the pot on his head I think that's one of the magic dudes
gonna switch my bow. leaving them just out like that. It just feels like they're gonna sneak up behind me. Sorry, I'm breaking all your precious runes and stuff. Oh. There's a secret passage here. Gotta check this out. Definitely dodged that. Oh my god. <laughs> Two. Just gotta get to them to kill them. Smithing stones. Was it trying to lead me up here? Because there's another secret here? No. That looks like a trap door. Brave birds? Oh. Curse blade. I don't want to pull a second one accidentally. He's trapped. Not trapped anymore.
Why am I still heavy? Because of this Helm of Solitude, the trophy I got from the... from the... from the... Fight from Hell. That's why. Let's put on different gloves. Oh, an Ascetic's Ankle Guard. Cool. A skadoo tree fragment? What? <laughs> nice. Okay, so there's some wind coming up from there. So that is a, a spirit spring. An indoor spirit spring. with the whip is you can't you can't hit anything when you're on the horse. I see an item way over here. Looks like something. Huh. it mean? Some kind of altar. Well, let's poke around and then we'll jump down. A Shadow Realm Rune. Not super important to me. Oh, I wonder if it will actually go up further than what I jumped down. What is that? Like a red... Oh, there are embers in the brazier. Nope. Just goes back to where I started from. This place feels like a maze.
there's more. Ah, more man flies. Go up. That makes me think I'm going to have to fight one of, one of those crazy snail bosses. Or what, what was that? What was that one boss that kept disappearing or something? A Rua Burrow. Okay, this door looks like I've been through it before. Why does this door look like I've been through it? Am I just going in circles? No, this I have not been here. Right? The snails prove that I have not been here before. And the item. I have been here before. This is the illusory wall. What? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm gonna jump back down. head to the other area that I definitely haven't been to. Which was over here, I think. an item up there. Can I get up this piece of wood? Yeah. 
a shadow realm rune. Again, not my favorite treasure. I'd rather have the great dragonfly heads. We're outdoors again. Oh. And there's an enemy. This would be a great place to find a site of grace. So I don't have to run all the way here again. Ah, I see one over there. And a mickle across. Oh. I thought that was a man fly. Ancient Ruins Cross Map. A skadoo tree fragment. I abandon here the last of the flesh of my body. I think it's the same writing on every cross. It's the Ra uh, Ancient Ruins East. And I can get another Skidoo Tree Blessing upgrade from 8 to 9. And that is where we are going to stop for now.